I think the biggest thing about Roger was the fact that he never quit. It didn't matter how much the Cowboys were down. I remember in, in uh, San Francisco, they were ahead of us 14 or 15 points, and it was three minutes to go or something, and they were coming by our bench and hollering obscene things at us and talk, calling us losers. And, and, and I'll never forget, Roger pulled the game out, and a few seconds before it was over, uh, completed a pass to Lee Falkins, and we beat him. That was the greatest comeback I'd ever seen, but he did it over and over and over throughout the years. I believe that Roger was going to win every game that we played him, no matter how much time was left in the ball game. I always believed that Roger could win the game. Well, the Cowboys need a miracle. Roger takes the snap. Loves it once. He's going long. Down the near sideline for Drew Pearson. Pearson. Makes the catch at the five, touchdown! Staubach hit Pearson on a 50-yard touchdown. Would you believe it? Staubach had a certain sense of confidence in himself and in the team that caught the imagination of players and fans alike. Part of him was as sweet and as innocent as a choir boy. But the part of him that was a football player was a pure killer. I tell you, when I went out against other teams, they were the enemy. I mean, they, I didn't like them. And I, I didn't particularly, after the game, go over and want to shake everybody's hand either. I mean, I, I wasn't a poor sport, but the heck, that's... You know, those guys are the, the guys that you need to play again, you need to beat them again, and you can't, you can't get too close to your enemy. More than a quarterback, Roger Staubach was a leader. It was his character and courage, rather than his talent, that carried him beyond the playing field and into the realm of popular myth. He was the white knight of the Cowboys' Camelot, the Galahad of the gridiron, who was as flawless off the field as he was on it. Roger, you have an all-American image. You're kind of a straight guy. Do you enjoy it, or is it a burden? You interviewed Joe Namath. I, everyone in the world compares me to Joe Namath, you know, as far as, you know, the idea of off the field. He's single, bachelor swing, and I'm married and family, and, you know, he's having all the fun. And, you know, I enjoy sex as much as Joe Namath. <laughs> Only I do it with one girl, you know. There I mean, you that's, go. but it's still fun. It wasn't his deal to go hang around bars and chase women or anything like that because, uh, you know, he had a family. He was, uh, he was a solid person. His teammates respected him for that because they knew he wasn't a phony. Washed so brave a buckle as the daring midshipman from the Naval Academy. He was an officer and a gentleman. He was a man you trusted instinctively, whose every word you believed, for whose reputation you would fight, and whose friend you longed to be. Roger Staubach would be what every parent wanted their son to be. He is the epitome of, uh, of uh, a gentleman. He's the epitome of a guy who, who, who commits himself to a cause. Uh, I've got more respect for him as an athlete than anybody I've ever played with or coached. I just don't know, of all the years I've played, I just don't know of any player that I've played with that disliked Roger Staubach. There's certain guys you look at that you've played against, and uh, I'm proud to tell my kids i played against Roger Staubach. Roger Staubach, more than an athlete, more than a celebrity, he was a hero.